What's up everyone, it's Fulgenis here with Building Blocks where we teach you how to design amazing graphics, animations, and more for your videos using only Ecamm Live text overlays. So last week I was featured as a guest on Sammy Superstar's show. Great show by the way. And we were chopping it up and Sammy wanted to know how does to design a camera border like his featured here. Right. And he wanted to know how to design that directly inside of Ecamm Live. So we're going to work on that right now. So we're already in demo mode and we're going to start by going to our new scene. And we are going to create a new folder. Let's name this folder Sammy. OK. So now we're going to create a text overlay that's going to be used to fill the entire screen, right? That'll be used as our color background. So let's highlight background and we could change this color to a blue, for example. And let's go back to that text and make sure the opacity is set to zero, which it is. Corner radius, bring that to zero. Text margin, you could expand that. And let's add that. Let's make sure that fills up the screen. Let's bring that into the folder. And let's lock that in place. Now let's press the T again. And we're going to decrease the margin for a second. Let's change this background color to black. Let's go back to font, bring the opacity up to 100. And we're going to create a ruler for ourselves. This is just like a little cheat, right? So let's add that. Let's shrink it down. And let's make sure that this has a vertical and horizontal snap. There you go. We could shrink down a little bit more. So this is going to be for guidance. OK, and that doesn't need to go into the folder because it's just a ruler. So now let's create our camera border overlays. Let's press the T again. Let's bring that opacity back down to zero for our font. Let's highlight background and let's make this white. And bring the text margin up. Let's try that for now. Let's add it and see what it does. We can uh, shrink this a little bit. So let's push this back using the um, not the corner, but the side. All right. Let's bring this down. And let's shrink this a bit. So we're just going to play around with this for a little bit. Right until you get it to the size that you want. And we have that ruler that's going to help us determine how far we can stretch this out. See, it's coming along now. And let's clear our interface by hitting command tilde or command apostrophe. All right. This way we don't have the interface getting in our way. Just want to fill this up as much as possible. And don't worry because you have that ruler there. OK, that's looking good. We could round the edges if we want to. So let's double tap this or double click this and let's bring the corner radius just a little bit up. Let's see what that does. Let's hit save. All right. So we have some rounder edges. We could round it out some more. OK, that's looking good. So now this looks decent, right? So we can duplicate this. So let's hit option drag. And bring this on over. And if it's a little uneven, we can nudge this over. Just hit the arrow keys and just nudge it a little bit. 
that's looking really good. So now if you notice our text, our camera borders, they are not in the folder. So let's bring those into the folder right now. And just remember the ruler does not have to be in the folder. That was a guiding tool for us. We can even this out just a little bit more. Going to nudge it a little bit more. All right, that's looking good. Let's hide the ruler. Let's lock these camera borders. And now we're ready to add our camera overlays. So we're going to click new camera overlay. And we're going to change the aspect to custom. And now let's bring this right around here and stretch. Okay, that's looking really good. And we can option drag one more time to duplicate this. That looks good. That looks good. And this will be for our guest. And there you have it. That did not take too long. It wasn't too difficult to do. And that's how we create our semi cool camera border overlay using text overlays only inside of Ecamm Live. You can drop the, um, the cameras in there as well if you want to. So let's do that. All right, cool. And that's it. Now, if you want a little extra, right? We can actually animate these camera borders. So if we double click on this, let's just have these flying in from different directions, right? We're going to have the first one flying from the left, the second one flying in from the right. And now let's come back to my scene here and let's see what it does. That's very cool. Right. You can also do something like this. Let's have them fly in from different directions, the opposite directions, I should say. Just switch the directions around left to right and right to left. And let's see what that does. See, so I have like a crisscross effect. Let's try that one more time. Just like that. And there you have it. We created a camera border overlay similar to what Sammy had on this show using only Ecamm Live text overlays. If you like this video and you're currently subscribed to Building Blocks, thank you for your support. But if you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button. Like this video if you liked it. Hit the bell for notifications so you know when new videos are going to be released. And we will see you on the next one. Thank you, everyone.